the major animal groups we know today were appearing on the planet for the very first time. They built their bodies entirely of soft tissue. Some protected and supported it with a hard outer casing. But none had anything that resembled a backbone. These were the invertebrates. Milo Kunmingia is the earliest creature we know of that we can truly call a vertebrate. And it seems clear that it used its strong inner rod to move in an entirely new way. As the muscles contract, they bend the rod from side to side. This movement pushes against the water and creates forward thrust. Here was a revolutionary new way to get around. It allowed Milo Kunmingia to roam far and wide and escape the dangerous invertebrate predators that were prowling the seas. The vertebrates would diversify over millions of years to create the spectacular variety of backbone creatures we see today in every environment on the planet. Fish dominate the seas, lakes and rivers. The amphibians live in both water and land. The reptiles can survive in the driest places on Earth. The birds rule the skies. And the mammals have insulated their bodies to adapt to every climate. We humans have used our greater intelligence to overrun the planet. This astonishing journey was built on a series of key evolutionary steps that helped our ancient ancestors to exploit their environments and overcome huge challenges. The first of these advances was the development of that inner support, the notochord. 